Howdy folks, SJ Poor here. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. I hope everybody's enjoying their uh, Homebrew Wednesday, especially seeing that today's actually Thursday. But I've been lacking. I've not had the opportunity to get behind the camera or in front of the camera and do a, home, a proper Homebrew Wednesday video. Um, so I'm going to do it today on a Thursday, try and get it up tonight so that you all can enjoy the fruits of my labor. <laughs> I'm actually drinking on a double IPA that I made. And it turned out pretty good. And this is in the style of SJ. This is an SJ beer. It's a recipe I came up with oh, a while back. Um, it's a, it's a big old IPA. We are around 90-ish IBUs. Uh, the ABV is, I think this one's like eight and a half, nine percent. And, um, it's very malt forward. Uh, it's a complimentary beer. Fits for me. I mean, these are, these are the kind of IPAs that I like. And if you can notice... She's got some color to it, and she's got some cloudiness to it. <laughs> In my Epic Men's Expo glass. So, cheers to that. What I have sitting right here is actually two and a half six-packs of the Little Face Lager. Now, some of these will be going down to or over to Grant Baker in uh, New Zealand. These are the bottle conditioned Little Face Lagers and I actually have this on tap upstairs as well and I'm going to be bottling uh, some of those off of the keg to ship out to Grant for uh, the second part of the beer shipping test. The first part was done with Grant and Kevin uh, Kevin Clements, and you can go to his video and check out the um, the uh, kind of review uh, that they did on the beers that were shipped to him. Now what I did was, on this, so there's bottle condition, and I'm also going to be sending plastic. So both are bottle condition, one's in a plastic PET bottle, one's in a glass bottle, and we'll be sending keg conditioned as well. And I'm going to try and do the same on the keg condition. I think I can pull out another bottle and another uh, cap, which I, I know I can. So that way I'll be sending four of the same beer, one being bottle conditioned and one being in uh, keg conditioned, one being in bottle, bottle conditioned, one being in glass bottle, one being in PTE, PET bottle, uh, and the same deal with the uh, K-conditioned beers. So that should be a pretty good experiment, and uh, we look forward to seeing that. Again, like I said, go to Kevin, Kevin Clement's uh, video and see his portion of it, and then this will be the second part of it. So we have that going on. We also have, sitting here in primary yet, which this will be racked over here shortly, is there's no point in pulling that off uh mary did a cream ale now this is a cream ale from a brewcraft usa kit uh, it was brewed on site what we've started to do since we've closed down the store um the grain bill has become mobile so what we're doing is uh we're giving private lessons out to folks who want to learn how to brew um, I was giving a lesson inside with some wonderful folks. They were actually brewing up the uh, gigantic, uh, oh, it was the, uh, the big Belgian triple, the uh, West Malay. Uh, and that was a Denny Kahn uh, recipe kit through Brewcraft USA. They were doing that kit. And, and on the stovetop, and Mary did the cream ale outside on a burner. That way, while I was giving them the, the course on how to actually brew um, on their stove, and they had a wonderful stove. They had a really nice gas 
uh, stove, which gas stoves really are the best. Um, and they're pot in the whole nine yards. So we did everything inside. Mary did this outside and on our burner. And uh, it gave them an opportunity to see another way of brewing. Um, so it worked out really well. Gives us a real nice cream ale. Over here in this fermenter on the back side over here is also Mary's beer. That is her round one version of the SJ Pour Challenge. That is her pawn beer. Uh, yeah, just let me tell you, that's a nice beer. <laughs> that is a beauty. And then I actually have my uh, night round beer sitting right here. I kegged up my pawn round uh, about two weekends ago. And uh, so it's up in the refrigerator. I should probably do a sample out of it just to see how it tastes. Uh, but I'm pretty happy with it. I have time to do another uh, round because I've had some thought processes since I did that beer, which is what happens. And um, I might end up doing another one for, for the pawn round, but I'm pretty solid on my night round with that beer there. I was really happy with the way that one turned out. I've got two sacks of grain sitting right here. I've got Canadian Maltings 2 row and I have the Red X uh, sitting there along with all the other grains and, and everything that we have. So um, that's what we got going on here at Little Face Brewing. We're brewing up the SG Pour Challenge beers. Uh, Mary is getting in. I'm in, and uh, I believe I have a few local people that are getting into it. If you're not in the challenge, go to www.sgpoorchallenge.org and check us out. It's a cool challenge. Uh, there's been a thing going on Facebook. Um, <laughs> Josh knows this and some of you other folks. I call it my white whale, and that's Dogfish Head, Sam Callion. Uh, I would love Dogfish Head to partner up with us. That's no lie. And I, I will always have that. That's kind of my... <sighs> you set goals that are high. Okay? And the reason why you set goals that are high is it makes you work harder to achieve them. I don't want to say that these are unachievable goals. But... They're not easy goals. And having Sam County be part of the SJ Poor Challenge is one of those high goals. Um, so that would be that would be super cool if we could get them on board. I think it's a perfect match. I'm sure you will. Um, if you agree with me, shoot a note out to Dogfish Head and let them know. You know, that they really should be part of the SJ Poor Challenge. Um, it would it would help out everybody. It's it's good for home brewing because we're all about w learning, right? It's not so much who wins; it's what you learn on the journey. So uh, shoot out a message to them and see if you can get them on board with us. <laughs> I've been trying for years. I actually had a face to face. Mary did uh, last year, which was really cool. I was just a big old dummy and stood there going do. <laughs> She was definitely the one that had the, uh, she had the wherewithal to be able to speak with him. So, uh, that's pretty much what I have right now for this Homebrew Wednesday. I wanted to throw something out there quick. I'm going to upload this, and uh, I wish you guys and gals all a happy, happy Homebrew Wednesday. Enjoy the summer. This is August. Um, Stay tuned to the channel. I've got a bunch of other videos that I need to sit down and edit and put out from our trips up north um, to our property up in uh, Germania, Pennsylvania. And uh, we have some pretty good footage for some of that uh, to share with you folks. And I'm sure you'll enjoy it. So uh, that's it for me for today. This is S.J. Poor and Little Face Brewing. Enjoying the fruits of my labor. Why? Because I brewed myself a wonderful double IPA. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. <laughs>